Islam, or Islam, our praise is due to Allah, highest upon us to his holy and divine prophet. Prophet Noble Jali want to give honors and thanks to the brother uh, Jalil Amawali Bay for giving that powerful demonstration. Islam, or Islam, you know, brother talked about a lot of things. You know, uh, most importantly, he talked about constancy, right? Us being committed, being consistent in the things that we say that we were going to do. Islam, Islam. so when you say a thing, then you should do a thing. Islam, you know, a person... You know, a person's word is everything, right? What's that, what's that quote? My word is my bond, my bond is my life, and I will give my life before my word shall fail. My word is my bond, my bond is my life, and I will give my life before my word shall fail? Islam. Islam. That's heavy, more. You know, the Bible talks about the word being in the beginning. What does that mean? Why was it in the beginning? And why is it, why is it still consistent to this day? Why is it still applicable to our lives today? Islam was? We say that Prophet Noble, Jirali, Prophet Noble Jirali was a love thought made manifest. Love is a word. Ain't it? Love is the savior of the world. See, we like to look for the saviors outside of ourselves. That's why we're inconsistent. Oh, well, Grand she gonna do it. Islam? Well, I go to the temple a little bit late. It's gonna be set up. But since the Grand she gonna do it, Secretary might do it. Islam? Islam? Islam. Well, what are you going to do? Islam, wow. Islam, 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 What do you have to offer? What do you have to bring to the table? Islam? Islam. Islam. See, <laughs> the thing, see, we like to come up with, with a thousand ideas, present it to the sheik staff, and go sit back and hope it come to manifest. Islam? Islam. If you got an idea, it's your charge to lead that idea. It's yours. I don't see how it looks in your mind. Islam? Islam. That makes sense, Brother Rashid? Yes, sir, it does. Praise Allah. That makes sense, Sister Elizabeth? She don't like me picking her. I'm going to stop. She, she, she got the mean face, boy. She got more to you. Say what? She got a warm up to you. Praise Allah. All is well, you know. So I just keep picking on you. I'm just playing. Oh, shit. Yeah. But if I have an idea, it's my, it's my responsibility to make it come to manifest. Islam? Islam? You know, if I'm serious about a thing, I, <laughs> it's going to show through my actions. The more I talked about being active and not passive. Islam? Active and action, you know, these are the same word. Islam? So how active am I in the things that I wish to see? What do I want to see? What, do, what, what is it that we want from, from, from the Prophet Noble Drali? Islam? Why did I join this, this divine national movement? What was my reason for joining the Morris Science Temple of America? Islam? Islam. Because the organization doesn't return your nationality to you. Your nationality is already Morris America. Islam Morris? Islam. See, the Prophet asked the question. In our Quran questions for more, more, uh, more Americans. He said in Key 16, how did the Prophet begin to uplift the Moorish Americans? So then that must mean that they had there was he, you know, they were already Moorish Americans. Right? If he had to teach them to be themselves, that means that, that they were already a thing. They just had forgot. They didn't remember. Islam? Islam. That historical Memory was, was lost, was taken from them, was stripped during the times of slavery. But are we continuing to perpetuate that particular ideology? Islam? Islam. And see, we perpetuate those things through inconstancy, through weakness, through misery, through instability. Islam? Islam. You know, through, through insufficiency of knowledge. These are the five foes of man. These are, the, these, are, you know, these are the things that breed with the lower self to produce hatred, slander, lewdness, murder, theft, and everything that harms. Islam? Islam? So how active am I willing to be? What am I really willing to sacrifice? I talked about sacrifice a couple of weeks ago. What does it mean to sacrifice? See, we think sacrifice is something somebody else do for us. 
Mm. Islam? Islam. Who sacrificed for you? And indeed, Prophet Nobu Ali sacrificed for us. But who's sacrificing for you today? Because today there's no more excuses. He already did what he came to do. So you got work to do now. Islam? Islam was? Islam. Y'all all right? We with you. Praise Allah. You know. So I want to take a reading from the Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple of America, divinely prepared by the noble prophet Jew Ali, by the guiding of his father, God Allah, the great God of the universe, to redeem man from his sinful and fallen stage of humanity back to the highest plane of life with his father, God Allah. And I want to turn over to chapter three. I think I'm on Yeah, chapter three. Sister, if you want to read along, here's a uh, Quran for you. Um, you can turn to chapter three with us if you like. Please turn to chapter three with me. I'm going to say, uh, Islam, when you've made it. Islam. And that may be on uh, page seven, I think. Islam? Islam. Right, Islam. Islam. Instruction one says, again... Elihu met, met his pupils in the sacred grove and said, well, first of all, who were the pupils Elihu met, met with? Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Praise Allah. That's the best answer I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> you know, um, so if we go back to chapter two, um, in instruction nine, it says, Elihu and Salom took Mary and Elizabeth out to the sacred grove nearby where they want to teach, where they were wont to teach. So who is uh, Mary and Elizabeth? They're the pupils. Mother Elizabeth right here. <laughs> They're the what? Mother of uh, Jesus and John. Mother of Jesus and John. Islam? So it says again, Elihu met, met his pupils in the sacred grove, meaning that he had, had been teaching the mother of Jesus and John, right? See, see Jesus didn't, didn't just, you know, just, just pop up and then all of a sudden he knew everything. He was taught. Islam? His parents were taught. They went through those schools of thought, thought too. Islam, boys? It says again, Elihu met his pupils in the sacred grove and said, no man lives unto himself. For every living thing is bound by cords to every other living thing. Brother Jalil just demonstrated, you know, you know, weak uh, uh, links being weak. Islam. So if there's a weak link, we are all connected to that weak link as well. And it's our responsibility to, to help strengthen that particular link that's causing, uh, you know, that's causing uh, 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 stagnation. Islam. But that, that particular link must be willing to be strengthened. Islam. That link must be willing to, 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 to demonstrate the possibilities of man or, or make, a, make a, a concerted effort to Islam. So no man lives unto himself for every living thing is bound by course to every other, other living thing. So if, if, if there's one strong link in this movement and everybody else is the weak, <laughs> a weak link, how can we demonstrate constancy? How can we demonstrate a, a, an action that is positive, that's gonna, you know, that's gonna grow into something. Islam, Islam. Islam. Am I making sense? It says, blessed are the pure in heart, for they will love and not demand love in return. They will, do to they, they will not do to other men what they will not have other men do unto them. There are two selves, the higher self and lower self. The higher self is human spirit clothed with soul made in the form of Allah. The lower self, the carnal self, the body of desires, is a reflection of higher self, distorted by the murky ethers of the flesh. The lower self is an illusion and will pass away. So first of all, it didn't say that the lower self don't, don't exist. <laughs> it says it, it is an illusion, right? So it is a part of, a part of our, you know, quote unquote, reality on this plane to manifest. 
but it will pass away. Islam? Islam. See, the knowledge of the higher self and the lower self helps us to be able to navigate through those conditions, as I was saying earlier. But we have to know them first. Islam, Morris? It says, the lower self is an illusion and will pass away. The higher self is Allah in man and will not pass away. The higher self is the embodiment of truth. The lower self is truth reverse, and so is falsehood manifest. Islam? Islam. It says, let me go back. The higher self is the embodiment of truth, not the embodiment of correct, not the embodiment of facts. Y'all follow me? Islam. See, there's a difference between truth and facts. Facts change. Facts are measured up by time. Truth is not. Truth cannot change nor pass away. What is truth? What is all? Can truth change? So what are the things that we are really struggling with? It's those things that will pass away. And when we recognize those things that will pass away, all that is left is what? Truth. Allah. Which is truth. Islam was? Islam. The lower self is truth, reverse, and so, and so is falsehood uh, manifest. Says the higher self is justice, mercy, love, and right. Not love and correct. I like, says love and right. The lower self is what the higher self is not. See, oftentimes we get into all these debates, right? You know, everybody want to be correct. You know, they think they're the right, but they just want to be correct. You know, there's a difference between correct and right. What is right? Right's root word of righteous. Righteousness and justice go hand in hand. So does love. So does mercy. These are the principles of the higher self. And that is Allah and man, which means that they cannot pass away. Islam? So when we talk about living in our higher selves, what do we really mean? We're talking about being governed by particular principles that helps us to be able to navigate around and through falsehood. To be able to keep falsehood under control. To be able to keep falsehood, or to, pardon self, the lower self. To be able to keep it bound, right? To be able to keep it bound within, uh, w you know, within the bounds of righteousness. Islam, in chapter, chapter 5, and I'm just going to read one sentence. You don't have to turn with me. It talks about one of the twos. It says we use the two, um, pardon self, we use the compass to draw circles around our passions and desires to keep them in the bounds of righteousness. Right? So we utilize this tool to help us circumscribe our passions with right, with justice, mercy, love, and right. Islam? Y'all follow me? It says, instruction 10, the higher self is justice, mercy, love, and right. The lower self is what the higher self is not. The lower self breeds hatred, slander, lewdness, murder, theft, and everything that harms. The higher self is the mother of the virtues and the harmonies of life. The mother of the virtues and the harmonies of life. All right? The lower self is rich in promises, but poor in blessedness and peace. It offers pleasure, joy, and satisfying gain, but gives unrest, misery, and death. Islam? Islam. See, the prophet talks about studying, right? He said, you know, if you will ask me what to study, I will say yourselves. And if you will well have studied them and ask me what to study next, I will say yourselves. Islam? Islam. But see, we think that the knowledge is found in information, you know, you know in, the, in the quote unquote conscious community, right? You know, we could pick up some books written by whoever and, you know, we're looking for something deep, right? Or trying to find something to, to help us navigate and escape around the laws that we're supposed to be bound by. Islam, Islam. Islam. See, we think that we can find loopholes so that we can do whatever we want to do instead of following the, 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 divine, <laughs> the divine laws of the prophet. Islam? Islam? You know, it says that it offers pleasure, joy, and satisfying gain, but gives unrest, misery, and death. See, the prophet didn't say study all that deep stuff. He said study yourself. That's the deepest thing that you can study. Islam, Islam, Islam. Islam. You know, when you know yourself, you know who? Allah. What's better to study than yourself then? Islam? 
now I gotta, you know, now I, I need to know, you know, how I fit in the universe and in, in the stars and, you know, in, in the constellations and next. Praise Allah, you know, some good stuff up there. But nearest place to me, Allah, is in the heart. So I ain't gotta get a telescope to go and look at Pluto and find out how far it is from Uranus and all this other stuff and think I'm deep. Now I think I know something. That's why? The nearest place to me lies in the heart. I ain't gotta go and find out how I can drive around the, you know, the country without a driver's license. It's a thing called public safety. Islam was? See those things they offer, you know, as it says, they're rich in promises, but poor in blessedness and peace. What's the promise that that's offering you driving without a driver's license? What's the promise in that? <laughs> that sounds like a promise to me. I promise you that might happen. If you get pulled over, that might happen. But what's the purpose of having a driver's license? I don't mean to get stuck on this driver's license thing, but you know, I've been hearing it too much. What's the, what's the promise in that? You know, what does it offer? Other than what this, what this just said. I, you know, I, I don't know. You know, this with the prophet. Prophet didn't talk about driver's license and, you know, birth certificates and all this other stuff. Islam? He talked about self. You know, there's nothing that exists outside of yourself. Y'all know that? There's nothing that exists outside of you. Why did, why did prophet, send, why did Allah send Jesus to this earth? So why did he say this earth? Is there, there's some more earth? Islam? Got some more earth right here? You know, can I go to him? Islam? Can I drive? Do I need a driver license to travel? Travel? I mean, <laughs> you know. But it says, the Lord self breeds hatred, slander, lewdness, murder, theft, and everything at home. Pardon self. Skip down. Instruction 12. The Lord self is rich in promises, but poor in blessedness and peace, and offers pleasures, joy, and satisfying gain, but gives unrest, misery, and death. Interesting. I'm going to let you demonstrate that. I want it. <laughs> Interesting, very interesting. <laughs> but it says, but gives unrest, misery, and death. We got a whole chapter on misery. Wow. Islam, Islam. What is it? What does misery mean? What does it mean to be miserable? How about this? Let's, let's skip over to chapter 44. Follow me. How much time I got? I'm pushing it. Uh, 50, well, 55 in, in this Quran. So that would be XLIV, chapter Holy Instructions from the Prophet Misery. Say Islam when you made it. Islam. It says, feeble, feeble and insufficient as thou art. O oh man, in good, frail and inconstant as thou art in pleasure, yet there is a thing in which thou art strong and unshaken. Its name is what? Misery. It says that we are strong and unshaken in it. That's deep. How can I shake off this misery? Right? But by way of studying myself. Y'all with me? It says, it is the character of thy being, the prerogative of thy nature. In thy breast alone it resideth. Without thee there is nothing of it. And behold, what is its source but thine own, what? Passions. Where your passions come from? The lower self. Ooh, how you know? Passions are of the lower self. Islam? Islam. You know? Because what do passions do? They make you sin. They make you sin? It's love. What do passions do? Make you unjust. Make you unjust. What else? It says the Lord self breeds hatred, slander, lewdness, murder, theft, and everything that harms, right? You know, I've never seen somebody who wasn't in their passions, well, die. But typically when people do those things, they're in their passions. 
they're in their, their feelings and their emotions. Islam, you know, Prophet gave us tools of the workshop of the mind to help us develop thought so that we can ward off those passions or control them, right? It says, instruction three, he who gave, gave us thee these gave thee also reason to subdue them, exert it, and thou shalt trample them under thy feet. It says he gave thee reason. What is reason? I say it every week. The ability to think. The ability to think. Absolutely. And comprehend. Hmm. Sounds like the actions of the soul, which are thinking, understanding, comprehension, reasoning, and willing. See, we have the ability to subdue these things, but we don't go to the place where they <laughs> exist to subdue them because we don't know ourselves. Islam Morris Islam. says, thine entrance, uh, blah, thine entrance into the world, is it not shameful? Thy destruction, is it not glorious? Lo, men adorn these instruments of death with gold and gems and wear them above their garments. Islam, Islam. The prophet is a thought of Allah manifested in the flesh, divine flesh. Islam, Islam. that's a garment. You know, love is a garment. Truth is a garment. Islam, you know, these, these principles, these are all garments. Obedience and, you know, prudence and, you know, temperance. These are all garments. Discipline. Islam, Morris? Islam. See, when we, when we cling on to those, you know, European gods, right? Drive's license, you know, drive without drive license. You know, that's, a, that's an ideal. It says a, man, a man's god is his ideal, Right? And that would the Quran say that, right? It says a man's God is his ideal. And so as man unfolds, his God unfolds, right? But see, if I'm clinging on to these particular ideals that the prophet didn't intend for you to cling on to, then you're going to stray in after the gods of Europe of who you know nothing of. Islam? Islam. See, these, that's, you know, <laughs> those ideals are what, what this says. They are instruments of death with gold and gems. <laughs> and we wear them above their garments, above our garments. Islam Morris says, he who begetteth a man hideth his face, but he who killeth a thousand is honored. Know thou notwithstanding that in this is error, custom cannot alter the nature of truth. Neither can the opinion of man destroy justice. The glory and the shame are misplaced. Islam Morris, see we glorify things that are not beneficial to us, that are not beneficial to our growth. Islam, that are not beneficial to our character de development. Islam, see this, this pamphlet is designed to, to fix the character defects. Islam, Morris, this is a conflict resolution pamphlet. I say that all the time. And the conflict that exists that's supposed, that has to be fixed is within ourselves. The conflict is between the higher self and the lower self. That's the oldest war known to man. Islam, See, some people call it the holy jihad, right? It's an internal struggle. See, when I fix myself and you fix yourself and you fix yourself and all of us fix ourselves, we can fix our community. We can fix our next generations. We can fix our educational systems. We can fix our political structures. Islam? Islam. We can fix all the things that we see out in the cares of the world that needs to be fixed. But we gotta start with ourselves first. Islam? We got to stop pointing the finger at everybody. All oh, the politicians, they don't care about us and da 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 Do you care about you? It's <laughs> love. You got to care about yourself first for somebody else to, 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 to give you a look. It's love. See, when the prophet, <laughs> during the prophet's time, we had, you know, uh, you know 3,000 moors over here and 5,000 over here ready to, 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 you know, to vote in one particular direction. That was a demonstration of love. They care for one another enough to agree to move in one direction. Islam? See, we have to care about ourselves first. We have to see the, the we have to see Allah within each other. We have, first of all, let's try not to get out of self. We gotta see Allah within ourselves first. Islam? When I can see Allah within myself, now I can recognize the Allah within you. Then I can unite with you. 
then Allah within me can unite with the Allah in you. And all will be well. Islam, Morris? Yes, Islam. Go back to chapter 3. Instruction 13. It gives men, apple, men apples to the, uh, that are lovely to the eye and pleasant to the smell. Their cores are full of bitterness and gall. If you will ask me what to study, I would say what? Yes, you don't say law? What do you say? Yes, Y'all sure? It's a birth certificate. Oh, it's a birth certificate. <laughs> no, oh. It say uh, nah, 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 nah. Don't do that. Slow. <laughs> And you well have studied them, and then will ask me what to study next, I will reply, Yourself. He who knows well his lower self knows the illusions of the world. Islam? I'm going to read that again. He who knows well his lower self knows the illusions of the world. I'm going to read that one more time. He who knows well his lower self knows the illusions of the world. Knows of the things that pass away. <laughs> Y'all hear that? Y'all with me? We'll read it again. He who knows well his lower self knows the illusions of the world. Knows of the things that pass away. And he knows, and he who knows his higher self knows who? Yes, sir. I don't think y'all reading with me. It says, and he who knows his higher self knows who? Knows well the things that cannot pass away. Thrice blessed is the man who has made purity and love his very own. His very own. Not somebody else's. Right? He has been ransomed from the perils of the lower self and is himself, and is himself his higher self. Men seek salvation from an evil that deems a living monster of the netherworld. And they have gods that are but demons in disguise. All powerful, yet full of jealousy and hate and lust. Islam? Islam. Whose favors must be bought with costly sacrifice of fruits and the lives of birds and animals and humankind. And yet these gods possess no ears to hear, no eyes to see, no heart to sympathize, no power to save. This evil is a myth. These gods are made of air and clothed with the shadow of a thought. The only devil from which man must be redeemed is self. the lower self. If man would find his devil, he must look within. His name is If man would find his devil, he must look within. His name is? Self. Read it again. If man would find his devil, he must look within. His name is? Self. Thank you. If man would find his savior, he must look where? Self. Within. If man would find his savior, he must look where? Within. And when the demon self, when the demon self has been dethroned, the savior who? Love. Will be exalted to the throne of power. The David of the light is what? Purity. Who slays the strong Goliath of the dark and seeks the Savior who? Love. Upon the throne. Why am I asking y'all to recite this? I'm trying to make sure you are paying attention. Also, why? Definitely trying to make sure you're paying attention, but why else? To memorize it, but why else? What words am I asking you to repeat? Self. 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 What else? Self. Within. Within. What else? Love. 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 So, what else are we studying? Are we truly studying ourselves? Islam? Islam? Are we truly really seeing what it is that is required of us? Islam was? Islam. See, we have a, a duty. We have a duty to, to humanity. We have a duty to ourselves first. Because we are humanity too. So we have a duty to uplift ourselves so that humanity can benefit. Islam was? You know, the highest, the highest service to Allah is service to who? And man. 
Islam was. You know, what man does for man, he does for Allah. Why? Because Allah is in man. Islam was. So, <laughs> you know, one of the struggles that, me, that, you know, that many of our people, many of us deal with is knowing the difference between truth and falsehood. Knowing how to recognize truth and falsehood. See, man, because man himself is truth and falsehood strangely mixed. That is a tough task to be able to unravel those things. Islam? But when we recognize that the only reality is Allah, the only reality is Allah. When we recognize that, then all will be well. When we truly recognize that. Not just be able to recite it and say it, you know, and say it in different languages. Because it don't matter what language you say it in. <laughs> when the prophet said that we're returning the church and Christianity back to the European nations, because it was founded by their forefathers for their, earthly, for their earthly salvation, as the brother was demonstrating earlier. He was talking about returning a rural view. Not the, no, not the building, the, the four walls and the people in it and all that other stuff. It was a rural view, it was a psychology that we had been under for so long that it wasn't beneficial to our, our particular development and growth of us and our people and as a nation of people. So we're returning a rural view. But there are certain things that we learn in those particular institutions that are still beneficial to us today. You know, the commitment that one has. We talk about, you know, you hear a lot of our people talk about, you know, when I was a child, you know, my grandmother used to keep me in church Mondays, Wednesdays, you know, Fridays, Sundays, you know, five days a week almost, right? You know, for different reasons. But that was a structure that was there. And that was a commitment that existed there. But we say, oh, no, we just give the church of Christianity back and, you know, so we're going to give up all that back too. As if we can't benefit from that part. You know, the sacrifice part. Islam? Islam. See, <laughs> doing those things in that particular institution was building up the empire of the, of the European nation. But we can do those same things in our own institution and build up our own empire. That's right. Islam was? The, co the commitment. Please commit. We got we got our people got a commitment problem. Islam? Islam. Divorce rates are crazy in our community. We got a commitment problem. Nobody want to stay together anymore. As soon as there's a disagreement, oh, I got to get away from you. All because you see the world from different points of view. Nobody see the world the same. We all see the world from different points of view. There's only one Allah but we see them from different points of view. Islam? Islam? See, when we can recognize the, the Allah within each other, we can recognize the beauty in his creations because Allah lives within all of us. And he expresses himself differently with, within all of us. But we have to come to that reality to be able to, to get through the conflicts that we have with one another. See, conflicts aren't bad. Again, go back to chapter one, without a foe, a soldier never knows his strength. A foe is not necessarily a bad thing. It's a thing that helps you to be able to grow and develop. It's a thing that helps you build strength. You're supposed to overcome the foe. Islam? Islam. You're supposed to overcome the foe. You're not, <laughs> you're not supposed to just let it, you know, just, just sit there and continue to bother you. Islam was? Islam. You know, so, you know, thought is developed by the exercise of strength. So let's use these tools to build up thought. Use the tools of the workshop. Ha, can't talk. <laughs> so use the tools of the workshop of the mind to build up thought. You know, this is where we develop character. Again, this is a character development doctrine. So, so let's, let's utilize it, apply it to ourselves first. Then we can demonstrate it with, other, with, you know, with each other. But until then, what are we doing? Am I going to and fro the earth seeking whom I may devour and not realizing it? The more I talked about, you know, ask yourself these questions first. Don't ask, you know, don't, 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 you know, justify it about what other people are doing so that now you can do it, you know, you, you can do it too. Islam? Islam? You know, the <sighs> Prophet Noble Jura Ali is a holy and divine prophet. You know, and we, one of the things that we have yet to realize is that we deserve a prophet. 
we deserve the prophet. We deserve the prophet that, that, you know, that was born in the same conditions that we experience. Islam was. That's, a pro you know, that's one of the problems with our people. We don't, we don't believe, first of all, we don't believe in prophets. We don't believe in prophets. We, we think that they only exist in books. Islam? We think they only exist on TV shows. But we don't, we don't really believe in prophets. Islam was. Because if we did, we would be out of, this, out, out, you know, out of these conditions. If we did. I'm just saying. Prophet came to us, you know, born in North Carolina, 1886. You know, founded the Morris Science Temple of America in 1913. Islam, you know, established an organization, you know, well, organized, you know, as the Morris, Morris Holy Temple of Science in 1925. You know, incorporated the organization into the state of uh, state of Georgia, into the state of Illinois in 1926, November 29, 1926. You know, and because the movement was largely re largely religious, he changed the name from Morris Temple of Science to the Morris Science Temple of America in 1928. Islam it became a religious organization. Islam. It says that the movement was largely religious. So changing it from a civic organization to a religious organization did not change the mission. It did not change the complexion of the movement. It just gave us certain, you know, additional protections. Islam was? So, you know, the prophet was divinely prepared in due time. He was on time when he came. He was on time when he left. But he didn't leave. And one thing I disagree with the brother Jalil is that he didn't die either. Prophets don't die. Neither do you. As long as Allah lives, man cannot die.